Okay, guys, so I would say it's a few months ago. I don't remember exactly when I did it, but when there was a specific aspect that kept reoccurring, it was a T square with, with Lilith and Libra. Uh, Lilith, Lilith is supposed to obviously be, you know, in mythology or in religious um, text, it's supposed to be a demon of sorts. And she essentially is the equivalent of a gremlin. In everything symbolically so and Libra rules the seventh house of relationships others and law so when you have Lilith and Libra it would be some sort of um, corruption or manipulation or like kind of treason sort of abuse of law or somebody within uh, authority so obviously that has been a not not just a, a thing in, within the United States, but a global problem. As people can see that some of their leaders or representatives are pretty much um, throwing them to the wolves and completely destroying um, all the United Nations and et cetera, et cetera. So when I was really getting into those aspects, I was in the process of doing a video about executive orders that Obama passed and I had like a list here like that one was in 2009 2009 2009 2000 2012 2012 and there's a massive amount of them that's why there's been those you know those complaints or criticisms from other legislative bodies and or politicians that he's been abusing executive orders it's it's beyond that he actually qualifies qualifies well i mean uh basically what he's been doing constitutes is actual treason and impeachment but because the attorney general wouldn't um enforce it that's why he wasn't uh impeached so somebody was just asking me this uh, you know the whole trump supporters online are now no, I'm not talking about the conspiracy nuts, because the conspiracy nuts have already heard about this the moment that, you know, there was talk or any kind of executive communication through the legislation websites about any kind of martial law or FEMA disaster relief implementations going on. So now the, the actual, because of all the chaos going on, and because of the huge animosity with the media sources and any kind of influential figures now trying to say that Trump is going to tear the country apart and them psychologically manipulating everybody by having certain um, pop culture figures speak out against him, say they're going to leave the country and whatever. And, and now there's, there's a, there's a reports of people coming out, apparently taking selfies of putting a gun to their head. To say how much they'd rather just shoot themselves than, than uh, be in a country without Trump, uh, with Trump as president, and then they end up accidentally shooting the gun off and that sort of thing. I spread that, but um, what I'm getting at is that I don't know if anybody's noticed, but Google has been, the searches have been changing, so um, they've been slowly filtering things out or altering definitions. And when I did this a couple months ago, so this would have been at the earliest November, maybe late October, if not December, January, that sort of thing. I don't think it was January. I think it was probably December. But uh, when I did that, I went to the Congressional Archives, .gov, and I was able to find all of these very easily. These are just the ones in particular that are actually talking about replacing all these religious institutions that are tax-free um, with Muslim refugee camps. And, yeah, that was that was the uh, tangent I was going on then because he's actually taking all these Catholic charity places that are tax-exempt so they don't have to actually pay for anything and then using ta taxpayer social service money to then house, reestablish, and then um, distribute welfare cash and food stamps to them and that's also another reason why a lot of the the republican um 
representatives of the Congress and the Senate have been fighting Obama the last few years on this budget thing. I always thought that was really weird. I was like, wow, I've never seen in the history of anything like that them fighting so badly over that that they would suspend like the government funding. And it was specifically because they were trying to, he was trying to um, increase the budget to be able to support these refugees that nobody wants, that they're coming in to attack us, like in Europe. So that's what these were listed about. But the martial law one, I specifically went over. And then also this one here, it says, that's kind of erasing. I knew I'd say this on here for some reason. So 13603, March 12th, 2012, Executive Order, Additional Defense Preparation, Outlining and Securing Sustainability while... Well, in the event of a national crisis, so it goes over taking over people's farmlands and manufacturing plants, and then there's another one that actually goes into how they're going to um, basically go and line everybody up, tell them, hey, you know how to do this, go do that for everybody. Hey, you know how to do this, go do that for everybody, which is very, right in line with if we became a socialist country, like Venezuela. <laughs> um, I, that's at least a, a recent one that I can use as an example. Because, by the way, Sweden and all of them aren't socialist countries. Even the Prime Minister of Sweden says that Bernie Sanders needs to shut the fuck up about that. But anyway, so what I'm getting at is these were easier to find just a few months ago. Just like about six to eight months ago, if you were to Google the definition of fascist, it was the traditional definition of fascism. It says extreme, rigid viewpoints uh, with a uh, political viewpoints that would that could potentially go left or right. And everybody always thinks the first thing they think of is like, you know, Stalin and uh, Hitler for fascism. And again, I don't know as much about Stalin always as I do about Hitler. Hitler was all about socialism and not to the point where like making everybody mediocre. He wanted everybody to be great. So he wanted to he created the interstates, which is what we actually have our interstates now, to make it so everybody could could go anywhere they please and be free to travel. He wanted to give everybody, all the people, a car. So he he uh, developed the Volkswagen brand for that. And there's all kinds of other things that he was trying to implement for people. And that was socialism. And then the whole, you know, making sure that all Germans were, were doing great is to get rid of all the potential problems, and i.e. certain people that were not what he considered German people. So, just stop. Yeah, throw that out there. But I just tried to go look this up for somebody, because again, people don't fucking read any of the legislation or anything. I mean, it's free. Why would you go buy books that you have to pay for? When there's so much information that could benefit you and could, um, you know, kill some time, that's free to read. Congressional archives. You can go dig through it. That I'm assuming just because Obama's really great at messing up websites, you know, for the whole <laughs> Apple Health Affordable Care hack thing, um, that he was able to, you know, put his spin on the Congressional Archives website. Or maybe it's just the mobile version, but I spent significantly... Ugh, more time re searching for it this time than last time. And I also find it funny too, when I originally did a Google search for it uh, a few months ago, I put Congressional Archive and then I put like, you know, um, like Executive Order Communication or Executive Orders in general. And within the first couple of um, result options, the congressionalarchive.gov was one of the results. When I did it this time, I didn't even see it on the first page, and then I just gave up. And I'm like, well, I'll just type in congressionalarchive.gov, and I had to go find it like that. And then the actual search navigation on the website itself, again, I was using it on my mobile and not on my computer, was very uh, anti-user friendly. So I'm just... Uh, uh, word of the wise, you should have a backup search engine and be aware that just as in different historical events, 
some fascist nations would then start burning books in order to prevent people from knowing truths about things. Since everybody's becoming so dependent on digital technology and digital records, it is so much easier to erase digital records than it is to burn books. There's no evidence if you did it or not. 